Assalamu alaikum viewers, uh, Ijaz Qureshi from Toronto, Canada with uh, today's uh, uh, Dreams Television's production, The Ijaz Qureshi Show. Today, we're going to talk about a great, great topic, which is uh, um, Kabooter. It's a product and concept by Marin Hashmi. It's a cross-cultural mobility uh, for peace and uh, harmony between five countries. Five different countries participate in that Kabooter. We will find out from Marine uh, why it is called Kabooter and what it has to do with peace and things. I know peace and Kabooter, they go together. But again, we'll find out the details from Marine. Marine Hashmi is our guest today. She's a curator. She's a CEO of uh, MH Initiatives. Uh, she is from Karachi, and uh, she is basically a, a practicing visual artist. Uh, she was born in 1985, so you know uh, how old she is. You can figure it out. Uh, she is. Uh, she has been uh, executing public art projects. She has been promoting uh, local artists and exhi exhibiting their uh, their work as well as her own work at the same time. And her work has been exhibited internationally all over the world. And uh, she is a curator at large, and she has uh, curated Pakistan's first. Uh, ever Karachi Art Summit in 2017. I wonder why that summit didn't happen because there, there are so many artists and uh, there has been so much work done in Pakistan and yeah. why the first art summit happened in 2017. We'll figure it out from her. And uh, she's been uh, involved with uh, authorities and uh, uh, like culture and tourism uh, uh, ministry. <laughs> government of sin in order to promote uh, the um, the art and uh, she has been uh, involved in uh, in in the curator work internationally as well so that's Marine let's welcome Marine to the show uh, Marine welcome to the show thank you so much for having me in such a nice introduction how are you doing I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, we met uh, uh, at, at that event uh, that was uh, uh, conducted, that was curated by yourself, and it was a, a pleasure meeting you over there. I, I, I really had a chance to see how greatly you put together that exhibition, that artwork was uh, superb, and especially no matter how good the artwork is, I think it is about all about presentation how you present it to the viewers and how they they perceive it and things like that. So it was really amazing, amazing event. Let's talk about uh, um, yourself. How did you get involved into, into art? I mean, why art only? Where all this uh, crazy thing started from? Uh, I don't remember exactly. I mean, because since I was yeah, very young, I just remember myself making things and sculpting and creating and drawing and painting and uh, I mean I was like a kid who would sit in the corner and during the evenings and free time and other kids used to play and I would be making something out of trash or recycle I was that kid so I mean I think it was there by default I never thought of any other profession and then once I got into art school and then trained myself as an artist and exhibiting and then and now I'm here and it's like a never-ending process and it keeps on growing. Awesome, 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 that's great. So uh, the the love of art made you decide uh, to become a curator. But I don't think lots of our people um, know about what, what a curator job is or what curator actually does. So um, like when, when, when I say cure, I mean, when we say curator, the cure comes and cure means saving somebody from diseases and things like that pardon my pardon my perception <laughs> <laughs> it is correct almost correct what, what is what is a, a curator and what does that person do uh, it's you are almost correct in other terms basically curator means to uh, someone who takes care of things so in art scene what curators do that we there is a lot of writing involved we write concepts uh, that way i have my shows and then we are art critics also automatically because we keep an eye on artist work and then how it's happening 
and uh, then in the end of course it's the choice of artist and then how artists are working promoting artists also there are different kind of curators also uh, museum curators public art curators project curators uh, so there is there are unlimited uh, uh, you know um, feels that what a curator can do so i chose to promote pakistani art and then do the cultural exchanges there are called cultural um uh, professionals as well so there are a lot of unlimited things that i mean i can't put in here uh then in the end if there is display so of course uh, it's curator's job to make a show a success and uh, bring every artwork together in a way that it looks like a good show and uh, we have to educate audience as well in the end about the show and artist work as well awesome awesome that's great let's take some comments uh, dr amina athar is uh, is a great great sister from uh, germany uh, originally from india she is a great uh, person she works for uh, um, for united nations uh, in the health department and working out there uh, saying assalamu alaikum assalam bhai thank you so much uh, jabbar ali uh, kayasi saying assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam jabbar sir thank you so much I mean, Atar is saying, uh, so sweet, uh, peace and kabutar. Yes, exactly. Peace and kabutar, they go together. So yeah. Jabbar Ali Kayasi is saying, both are so nice, mashallah. Thank you so much for your comment. Uh, so um, let's let's talk about uh, Ahang a little bit. I think that, that's the first thing you did. Uh, so what is Ahang and uh, what made you create Ahang? Ahang uh, is because uh, it's from, I name my shows in Urdu particularly because I'm from Pakistan and that's our language. So it shows the identity of the curator that it's happening in Pakistan without saying anything. So there is a word hum ahangi, which means harmony in Urdu. So I chose ahang, bringing together. And it was particularly curated for the uh, all the countries in Asia because we have so much happening. What we know all know what happens in Pakistan, what's happening between Pakistan and India, and then Bangladesh, and then a uh, few things happen in Sri Lanka also. So I was working before that as an artist with other artists who were working this uh, warfare. So I wanted to do something which shows and expresses from the artists who are from these Asian countries. So in Ahang, I had artists from Palestine, um, India, and uh, uh, Azerbaijan, China, Macau, Afghanistan, and they were showing, literally expressing, when some, one of the artists was born in uh, refugee camps uh, of, of uh, Palestine. So right. they were they were in other countries, they are homesick, they don't, so that, all of that was portrayed in Ahang. So I wanted to show that, and it's a traveling show. It won't. It will be. It will travel from Lahore and uh, Islamabad and Karachi. So it will be travel to other Asian countries and Arab countries also. So mm -hmm. we can portray that what's happening. It's kind of a silent protest. The artists are saying something. They're expressing that what they're going through because of the situation. What's happening around the world, and mm -hmm. particularly in Asia. Got it. Got it. That's good. So to promote peace, uh, you created uh, that Ahang project. Now, yes. the, um, how do you select the art that goes into into these projects that is being uh, uh, being displayed? Who does that? Uh, I don't. But uh, Ooh, it's a okay. very long. Yeah, I know, I know. I re there is a lot of reading involved because you have to keep learning about your work, and then you have to visit galleries on a regular basis and keep an eye on what's happening in international art scene. So it's like twenty four seven. You know, I my eyes are always on artwork. So even if I enter someone's house, I I judge them through the artwork. I go into the artwork first. <laughs> it's like that for me. So with the uh, Ahang, it took me a whole entire I think seven to eight months to select the artist. Sometimes you uh, handpick artists the way I did for other projects, but for Ahang, I did an open call, and then there is a selected uh, um, genres also that I wanted to do it. Ahang is on new media art, which is very common uh, in uh, international art scene, but mm -hmm. it was very new here. So new media art is when you're working with animations and video installations and Technology. digital art. Photography, yeah. technology, basically, yes, yeah. Okay. yeah, because it's easy to travel, yes, yeah. So that's how that's how I, I selected them. Good, good, yeah. Whatever work was uh, displayed, I think um, every single piece was really, really amazing. I really enjoyed looking at them, and uh, you know, I met some artists who were there present at the at the scene, yeah. and uh, when you know they explained their work from their own, uh, you know, words and their own words. 
it's amazing how they conceive yeah. and how they they uh, created uh, that uh, you know artwork. So it, it was really amazing. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So um, what happens once you select the uh, the art? Um, you haven't really seen that physically. Maybe you have seen some pictures, things like that. What happens next? Uh, do they send you that artwork? Uh, uh, do, do, do you pay for it, or uh, that is still owned by the uh, the creator, things like that? What happens? Uh, it depends if it's uh, because Ahan was made uh, created in a way that you know I can get work without having to be worried about logistics. Okay. So yeah, videos were sent through WeTransfer. Okay. And uh, you can watch the videos on your laptop, or and if it's a print media, I mean, so they send me the files, and I printed it in in Karachi, and when I was in Lahore, I printed there. Got so it. that was, yeah, that was free plant. Otherwise, it depends if the work is sellable, then you sell it. If it's in a gallery, I have curated a few shows for the galleries as well. So then there is a certain thing that if it's of course a conventional medium, then you can sell it, and then uh, it goes to the artist and everything. Awesome. Awesome. Now, in, in these uh, um, in these exhibitions or um, art uh, galleries, are these uh, uh, creators, the artists themselves? Uh, do you invite them wherever you take your project, and they go with yes. the project, or you, they, do, they do? Yeah. Sometimes, uh, if it's happening in Karachi, when I was uh, traveling with Ahang, so I invited all the artists in Lahore, and uh, no. sometimes because mostly we have worked together, uh, you know previous years so they attended the Lahore once the Islamabad once attended the Islamabad one and those who were in Karachi they attended the Karachi ones I it's see. not possible that's yeah that's what I'm trying to do when we talk about Kabutar so that's yeah. a different scenario okay yeah. so yeah no, I think um, we have talked enough about our answer let's talk about Kabutar now and uh, when when I met um, uh, Hina Tabasum, uh, that was the first yes, time I, about Kabutar, yeah. and I said, what is Kabutar? And uh, she started uh, explaining about it, and I got that idea. Oh, my goodness. What a great, great project is. So thank you so much for conceiving, uh, especially the name and uh, the whole, the entire entire concept and, and uh, the project. So let's talk about what is Kabutar, Marine? Kabutar is, uh, can I tell you? A whole story about Kabutar. Yeah, absolutely, we'd <laughs> yeah. we love to hear that. So it's like, it's my baby project and uh, everything revolves around it right now. Uh, I wrote it in 2015. I wrote the concept and uh, of course I was curating other projects and I did not know how to curate, how to execute it. And I wanted artists because mostly it happens because of lack of funding and resources. Every artist cannot travel to the other country and you just send work. Mostly I don't try get to travel for my own shows. You just send the work and it's uh, you know just there. So there were there are three uh, different sides of this concept. First, that there was a buyer. He used to say that why don't you come over to our place? That you know you are here, you are in our house. And I said, uh, I mean, why? He keep on saying that. So it's a different relation when you go and see your work in someone's house. It means that you are there. That's one thing. And then I thought of uh, in in Mughal eras in old times, we used to train pigeons to uh, send the messages. So that was another part of the concept. And in, in West and in East also, pigeons are supposedly little noble as a bird. And it's a, it's a symbol of peace as well. So Fakhta and then or the whole concepts combined gave me this uh, concept of Kabutar. So I moved forward. I kept learning and then how to execute it. I keep on educating myself and then I keep on uh, going through because it's a huge project. And I wanted artists to travel with their artwork. And then uh, in 2018, I chose the artists from all four countries, and then we, they exclusively created the work, which shows the concept of Kabutar from one country as a message to another. And when an artist is taking that piece with them to the another country, so it, it, it broadens the whole concept of peace and harmony, and then it brings together the cultural cross culture mobility also. And uh, it shows that, you know, when we are together, as uh, now we have started calling ourselves Kabutars since we had the launch after. So it, it, it gives a whole identity of that country, and you get to know the country itself more. So that was the whole concept, and then we wanted to fund everything and make it easier for artists to go go from one place to another, and then you know promote themselves and broaden themselves and connect with uh, other countries as a from a human to other human, basically. Awesome. 
So um, uh, as we mentioned earlier, that there are five countries participating in Kabutar. Uh, which are those five countries uh, besides Pakistan? Uh, it's, it's Italy, uh, France, Netherlands, and uh, Turkey. Italy, France, Netherlands, and Turkey, and Pakistan, of course. And, yeah, five. Pakistan, yeah. Very good, very good. So uh, when, did, when did you launch Kabutar? When was the launch? Uh, we launched Kabutar on 27th April, and uh, we had the delegates here from 25th April to 2nd May. And uh, we had a lot of fun, and the whole concept was, uh, it was, I think it Kabutar grew as a project when I had artists from Italy, and one from Netherlands, and then one from uh, Turkey. And the way we were meeting and connecting with each other, we literally forgot that we were meeting for the first time. Wow. And uh, we were, yeah, we were five of us. We have three artists from Pakistan as well, part of Jahab. So it was it was the most great, uh, I mean, uh, a remarkable week of my and whole career. Where, where was this uh, whole week uh, was conducted? Uh, where, where was the exhibition? Uh, it was exhibition happened at the Alliance Francis. Okay. And uh, we yeah we had this artist. Uh, everybody work was on display. And we had this artist Jansu Ergin from oh. Turkey. She did a performance about uh, the concept glimpse. Its title is. And then we had to uh, like we showed them around. We took them to the old city and other uh, people who were doing the tour. Uh, so Super Savari Express is a, a tour service. So they invited us, and then we had uh, we introduced them to food because we love to feed a lot. And then we took them to the beach. We took them to the boat ride, and we went oh, to Zeta really? Market also for shopping. Awesome! awesome. <laughs> yes, yeah, cool. it, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. So are you taking Kabutar to other cities in Pakistan as well, apart from Karachi? Uh, not at this stage, not okay. at two other cities, um, mm -hmm. but we are taking it to other countries other in countries. August and September. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, those three Pakistani artists will be going with you to the yes. other countries like you, you are yourself yes. traveling, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we will be going in a deli Pakistani delegate. So we okay. have a show. Yeah, we have a show in uh, in Netherlands, and then we have a panel discussion in France, and then another show in uh, Net uh, Italy, and then you know another show in Turkey. It's like that. Okay. Is the is yeah, the yeah. schedule uh, firm now? Is it finalized or uh, still uh, being worked at? We, uh, we have tentative days, so we will announce it in July, just to be the safe side. Okay. But we have done a lot, and we are sharing all the journey and all the progress with the public awesome. right now. Awesome. awesome. So why I asked is uh, I might be able to join you because uh, uh, Netherlands or France they are just seven hours from uh, my place. Um, oh yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I can yeah. I can fly in there and uh, meet uh, um, some great friends again and uh, meet some new friends. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and you can attend the opening of Kabutar there in Netherlands. Well, exactly. That would be exactly. really great to see you. Yes, yeah. That's right. Yeah, I can yeah. join you there. Okay. Yeah. So we talked about Ahang uh, Marine. Uh, that was a great, great hit. And uh, Kabutar is going to be, um, it is already becoming very popular. And uh, people are paying attention to it, uh, what the purpose is, and uh, who are the people behind it. Um, I know that uh, your your event management and those kind of things were done by, uh, by a company known as Arbit, I guess. And, yes, yeah. and uh, But now you have your own uh, company, which is uh, MH Initiative. So, uh, what is going on? What is the charter uh, behind MH Initiatives? So let's talk about that. What what made you create MH Initiatives? Uh, in fact, everything is uh, started with Kabutar. So I had to make a company. And uh, of course, it, it was a, a huge project for me as well. So that's why otherwise, as an independent curator, I was promoting artist work and my job. I try best to provide paid uh, opportunities to artists in Pakistan all over. So I was doing that. But now, because now that I have an art company, it uh, comes with a cause of not much with voluntary benefits. Our first uh, purpose is to do the thing I was working with. So it will be promoting culture and uh, through to Pakistani tourism. We want uh, other people to come. We will be inviting uh, my other friends, fellow artists all over the world. And then uh, it will go on. Kabutar will also go on but on by many basis. So through MH now, it's uh, it's I have a foundation. I have a platform. I have a uh, 
you can say that a more cliche pat platform where i can do it in a bigger and on a better scale and uh, i mean i don't like to be called ceo i mean i prefer like you know founder or curator so it it shows the emotion behind it shows the purpose behind it but you know how things work in in a practical life so how, that's how it is yeah yeah that that's cool that's great so i know the three artists that you mentioned from pakistan uh, one of them i already know and met and uh, had a chance to talk to hina uh, tabassum and uh, she's a very young young talent and uh, when when you see her you won't really imagine that how great artist she is so yeah. how was how was her bronze uh, artwork uh, how did people perceive it and i think she was still working when i met her last time she was still working on it it wasn't completed but it was yeah. a very miniature uh, artwork so how did it go i, I love to see that someday yeah. uh, about uh, all the artworks it's may it's executed in a way i give them the specifications that it should be easy to travel because we are going to four yeah. country yeah exactly. so yeah so uh, it it came out really well and uh, it's the most there is a, always a favorite piece and uh, some they you call it main stream like every there is one piece in every show that everyone loves it and True. that was in our work and about you know she's very new uh, very fresh but very talented i have worked with other uh, her and other projects as well so that was the reason behind choosing her work and uh, that went really well she made this uh, a sculpture of it shows a chappal like the chappal we wear in our childhood it yeah. has painting and she she's very enthusiastic about rust so it's made in metal and then uh, i love the work because uh, there are so many several ways of displaying it i can put it on the floor i can put it on the doorstep i can put it on a pedestal i can hang it on the wall so that's that's where that's very interesting for actually it was displayed on on uh, the exhibit of first exhibit of kabutar in karachi wow wow that that's cool that's cool Uh, let's take up a couple of comments uh, rashid mahar is our uh, regular viewer our friend is saying great thank you so much uh, for liking the show uh, hafsa nasim uh, she is um, uh, she is also an artist but uh, she does writing okay. she's a writer okay. and um, uh, great great writer i love her piece of writing uh, hafsa nasim has been on uh, on my show as well uh, saying hello hello guys thank you so much uh, um, so uh kabutar is going international and it already has international artwork um let's let's talk about a little bit of these uh, pieces uh, we talked about um the um uh, hina's uh, hina's artwork what other two are from pakistan uh there are actually three artists from every country uh besides france i have two artists from france instead of three um other uh, artist are farooq shaha who is a master painter of pakistan and he does uh, painting and uh, he has 30 years of experience for exhibiting abroad and in pakistan and uh, he has been invited with other delegates to other countries so amazing work and uh, uh, i really i mean he's my senior also so it's an honor to have his work in my show Okay. and there is akil akil solangi he is a uh, in rawal pindi he is a faculty in uh, national college of arts in rawal pindi another contemporary very known artist of pakistan and mm. uh, he also paints so his work is also amazing and uh, he had recently had a solo in chokandi art seen in karachi a uh, couple of months ago so another amazing artist and i'm really honored to work with these two and uh, of mm. course another person awesome yeah. that's great that's great Farzana Shah is our uh, friend uh, she's saying good job thank you so much Farzana appreciate it and uh, she's saying uh, nice name as well yes exactly exactly um so th- this is really amazing amazing uh, uh, work that uh, Marine is doing uh, Marine anything else uh, that we uh, that i missed um, that you want to talk about or uh, we uh, are pretty much uh, uh, done with the uh, uh, with the talking 
Uh, I want to mention all my uh, people and collaborators and other artists behind Kabooter from other countries because it has been a great support that they came to Pakistan and trusted us and then they enjoyed and then mingled and then they took back very good memories and we will be meeting again. So there is my very good fellow artist and friend Denny Plocher in Netherlands and there is another very really other good artist Hans Overblut. I'm very bad at pronouncing his name. He's very senior artist in Netherlands. He could not travel because uh, of uh, uh, his sickness and everything. There is Yuri K. Reuter who came and uh, attended the launch. Uh, there is uh, Jean Suergen from Turkey who came and we loved her uh, performance and her energies and I'm looking forward to meeting her again. Uh, Christiana Marchi from Italy and there is uh, Edar Mitak, there is Sazen uh, from Turkey, there is Frederick de Villy and uh, Denise Frachet in from France. Uh, Christi besides Christiana, I have uh, Angela Vinci and uh, Alberto Magrin from Italy. So, and there are other uh, collaborators also. There is Muge Olakak, she's the director of Atiyah News from Turkey. So, and there is uh, Villa Brantino from Italy. There is another gallery in Netherlands. So there are a lot of, uh, I can, I cannot, I can, most of the names I cannot pronounce. I know the spellings because it's different languages. I'm not mentioning it. But there are a lot of other people who are behind Kabutar and then they supported me. And then I'm sitting here in Pakistan and then uh, we are collaborating on all four countries because when we are going and taking the show uh, to Italy, France, Netherlands and Turkey, we need a venue, we need arrangements and everything. So all these people are doing it for us. So we, when we have, uh, we will be uh, launching its catalog in the end to combine whatever we have done. It's, uh, it's a great deal of work by everyone. There are a lot of people behind me and with me uh, so then we will see that what has been done and we will be sharing our journey throughout because it's about traveling and connecting with other people also and creating a software image of pakistan as well awesome awesome that's great thank you so much uh, and I, I really appreciate uh, all the artists who uh, have participated uh, in, in Kabuta project hats off uh, salute to all those artists and uh, uh, anybody, I think uh, Kabutar um, has become already a brand name, and uh, I, I hope that you will continue working on this uh, in future years. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, will continue um, spreading the message of peace internationally, and uh, I, I wish that it goes beyond those five countries uh, and uh, it goes uh, uh, towards the West and uh, towards the uh, the eastern um, uh, continents as well uh, farzana shah is uh, is commenting again uh, she's saying thanks and welcome if artists like uh, her are there we are going to make our recognition absolutely thank you so much farzana thank you indeed, indeed. so um uh, you know marine uh, this show is for the um, uh, uh, youth empowerment and uh, especially uh, women empowerment. Uh, what is your message for the young artists and uh, girls and boys of Pakistan? Okay. I have just one, I just believe in one thing. Uh, just do it. Just that, do it. <laughs> just do it. Like so because not, people, yeah. I love the slogan of Nike that uh, just do it, just do it because i believe that i mean uh, when you keep on thinking your pros and cons and playing safe and unless you don't take a risk you don't go out of the box and unless you don't go out of it you don't bring something different or something which no one has ever done it so i believe when you have the force and energy and determination and you don't give up then the whole universe everything works to make it happen and people come and support you to make it happen. So you Absolutely. just have to think and then do it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much for the nice message. Uh, viewers, uh, that was uh, Mehreen Hashmi. Uh, she's a curator in Pakistan. She's doing great, great work. She has launched Ahang. Uh, she has recently launched Kabutar, and uh, she's the CEO of uh, MH Initiatives. Thank you very much for your time, Mehreen. I really appreciate it on behalf of uh, Dreams Television, the Jazz Crazy Show. All my viewers who have watched this live uh, commented or will be watching uh, later on at their own time zones and, and uh, comfort level. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, it's a pl pleasure talking to you, meeting you always. And 
thank you for giving us the platform i'm speaking on behalf of all the artists and people involved with kabooter and ahank worldwide thank you thank you, thank you. All right, viewers, um, I'll, uh, I'll say goodbye now until the uh, next show with another beautiful guest. Uh, I'm saying goodbye to you. Allah Hafiz.